end in the week today. It's Friday, I think the 20th, 520 Burn It. You know how we do. Bringing you another Marvel Legends series. Thor, Love and Thunder, The Mighty Thor, Padme, Amidala, in the, f in the plastic. You know how it is. I'm gonna look at these sides real quick. They're all both the same for some reason. You know, we got the hammer on top. We got the legals. Let me see. See that? Damn. That's crazy. I need that? Oh, no, wait, oh. Attention. Oh, damn. Still need that Groot. Still need that Star Lord. You know how we do. You know what it is, baby boo. <clears throat> Let's read this bad boy. Marvel Legends series, The Mighty Thor. Jane's foster... Wait. Oh, God. Jane Foster's life is forever changed when she mysteriously comes to possess the Hammer Mjolnir and the powers of the mighty Thor. I was a little confused at the end, like, what the heck is she talking about? <laughs> but yeah, let's crack this stinky ass monkey open. <laughs> you know what it is, baby boo. Accessories first. Got that cord leg. You know what I mean? Four toes. Total of eight toes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have. I, I can't wait to get it. I don't. I didn't have the cord from the uh, the old one. So I'm looking forward to that. Cord's cool. And then he comes, or she, excuse me, comes with Mjolnir, of course. Let me get some light on this bad boy. Too dark, like it. Yeah. Look at me. Oh, I forgot my uh, gloves today. Don't hate me, but yeah. That's the, uh, that's the hammer. It's all cracked up. Kind of wish they gave it some, like, blue paint in there, just so. Let me see, let me get a little zoom in, yeah. Just so we can get, like, some, some, like, detail in there. I don't know, it's a little boring, it's just flat. Not even silver. Like, even the handle right here is silver. Couldn't even do that, huh? That's cool, though. And then we got the Natalie Schmortman head. Looking real well, actually, you can't even see your face here, but yeah, that's what we're looking at here. A little bit of detail in the hair, not too much though. Helmet looks really nice, I do like the helmet. I really like that they actually went for like the a helmet for once. Thor never wears this freaking helmet in the movies, a little annoying. All right, and as far as articulation goes, they the heads are both the same, so they go back about that much because I got the hair and whatnot it goes down about that much can look side to side of course um we got the ball we got a shoulder no butterfly joint the arms do pop up about that much they rotate all the way around but they get hindered by her shoulders shoulder pads or whatever <clears throat> we got that bicep swivel double jointed elbows with the painless joints mm -hmm. chef's kiss on that chef's kiss on that then the wrist obviously rotate 360 back Kobe and then on this hand she has the the Star Wars hinge where the hand goes oh uh, yeah you are you you already know I don't gotta explain it to you bam the jerk off hand and then diaphragm joint so she goes back that far sculpting and the yeah look at that detail on the, the they're getting better at that I'm telling you look at that even on the back they do that when you go forward Side to side, real nice, and then obviously rotates. No waist swivel, but the legs do come forward about that much. Go out about that much, so that's actually pretty decent. We got the thigh cut, per usual. Double jointed knees, pinless as well. Come on, now you already know, I'm gonna hype it up. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, and then, uh, sorry, I got, I got a text and I started reading it. The foot goes up. It goes down, and it goes side to side. And yeah. Alright, and for some size comparisons, here she is next to our other uh, figures in the set. I didn't bring out the Ravager Thor, because, you know, we already got this Thor. We don't need two of them. Same height and whatnot. <clears throat> yeah, I think they look pretty sick. Uh, I really like the... I really like Jane Foster. She was one of my favorites, you know? I'm not gonna even front, but I still like, you know, Thor. Thor is, Thor is the boy, come on now. And here she is next to some ladies of Asgard. Just, I just wanted to see how um, she stacks up next to everyone else. Actually shorter than freaking Lady Sif over here. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna, 
Oh my god, what the freaking neck? Okay, yeah, but she's she's actually taller than, you know, she's shorter than freaking Lady Sif over here. And hella, obviously, hella's hella tall for no reason. Hella tall? You, you get it? But yeah, alright, I had to bust out the Jane Foster Thor just to see how she stacks up. And, you know, they're cool. She's cool. MCU version, you know. The design's almost exactly the same, you know. But, um, busted out Malekith also just to see how he's... He's a little bit taller than a regular, um, dude. Actually, I don't know. He looks pretty average to me. But, um, yeah, just wanted to see how they stack up. Stack up. Gyro Mike. And of course, I had to bust out Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Because, you know, those are the two movies that came before it. So, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, did I mention yes? Alright, y'all. That's going to do it for this review today. Final thoughts. I think it's pretty cool. I think that my general consensus with all these figures is they don't come with anything. They only come with, like, one weapon, and that's it. That's all you need. You get a sword, that's all your Christian Bale needs. You get a hammer, that's all your Thor needs. You get an axe, that's all your Thor needs. Oh, you get an extra hand with your other Thor, though. You know, you need that extra hand. The fisted hand, you definitely needed that. I mean, we didn't, but, you know, they still gave us the extra hand, so, you know, why aren't they giving it to us? Why aren't they get with it? The prices go up, but the accessories become less and less frequent. Why? Why, Hasbro? I just want to know. But, uh, yeah. I think you should go out and get this one. If you, if you can, if you can find it. Instant Cop, I think. Beautiful figure. I love the Natalie Portman. I love, I love Star Wars Padme Amidala. You know? It's one of my favorite things. Favorite things. Anakin Skywalker, better eat his heart out. He's like, oh, he's like, baby, is that you? And she's like, sorry, I'm with the God of Thunder now. And he's like, I'm fucking up, choke you out, Dad. <sighs>